Welcome to our new video. Um, we are at home, as you can see, in quarantine, and I hope that you guys are all keeping safe. Um, in our previous video, I asked if uh, you have any questions or any comments, please let me know. And some of you have asked us quite a number of questions. So, let's get started. <music> We started in my room um, at my childhood home. Started there and on my off days I would go and buy off cuts of leather um, and other fabric as well as stitching, um, fab stitching raw material, um, wax cotton, needles, scissors, everything and one thing I forgot was cutting mats so the problem was that I used to cut on my, my parents um, wooden floor at home which um, was not the best option but yeah um, that's kind of where I started um, um, I learned through Chad because Chad knew a lot about design and um, how to design a product from scratch but also um, we YouTubed a lot of Japanese craftsmanship videos thousands and thousands of them we also learned a lot of our skills through um, Rian and Warda um, at Jail Maester and they taught us quite a bit in the very very beginning um, I think that was back in 2011 and um, we are so forever grateful for them um, because um, without them I don't think we sort of um, w would have learned all the skills Our turning point in our business was when we applied at the neighbor goods market. And we, when we got into that market, we got um, a confirmation email, which we'll, we were extremely, extremely excited about. So, and we get there the next morning, super tired because we had worked till sunrise and everything, but also very excited, um, only to be told that they don't have a place for us. They don't know who we are. They don't know about the, there must have been some kind of miscommunication. They don't, they don't know about the, the, confirmation email you know all of that so obviously um you know the monkey face um that was our reaction initially and like tears and anxiousness and everything we had our stock in the car um we had our design stand everything so that was quite hectic but then the next week i obviously in that week i obviously hounded them and i was like you know what you guys did send me a confirmation email here you go here's the confirmation email everything and the next saturday we started when we started at the neighbor goods market that was the turning point in our business when we realized that every single saturday and every single week you could build a relationship with customers and you can come back every single saturday and you can get your customers to come and buy there and you can market it like this so that was the turning point point into actually us actually starting an actual business Yes, we definitely had other jobs. I was still in radio. I was also modeling. I started modeling when I was about 18 years old. It takes a lot out of you to do modeling and work and, you know, do all, all of those things. But um, Chad also had a job. He um, had, he was, he was working for a design consultancy. It, it took most of his time, eight till five every day. Um, and when he used to come home in the evenings, I remember him working on his furniture business, which he wanted to start back then, um, and also working on research units. So he wanted to integrate, um, the furniture business with research unit um, at that time but maybe that's something to discuss for the future hint hint <laughs> so chad and i work together every single day um and obviously over these past few years it hasn't been easy chad and i though have um completely different skill sets um i have um really really good sales techniques i well i i hope to think so but um i also am really i, I love doing the marketing side of my business although i don't find the time to always do everything he has a lot of design ability and techniques although my design skills are um quite 
quite good, I think, because of him over the years. But yeah, um, we have different skill sets. We do speak um, about business at home, but we've learned to separate that, especially because we have a kid and you have to learn to separate that at some point and, you know, spend some quality time and spend some time where you don't actually talk about work. So yes of course i love what i do every day i the fact that you are in control of your own destiny as an entrepreneur even through coronavirus even through everything um you are a resilient um creative there's a reason why you started your business on or went on your own in the first place and never wanted to work for a boss in the first place and that for me is very important because i am in control of my own destiny and i um am the captain of my own ship and our work has enabled us to travel the world um, which is one thing that I really love doing although obviously now our US trip for May was put off our Japan trip for July was put off all of that but we will we'll travel again definitely um, we'll travel again and um, we absolutely love what we do so um, yeah so yeah that was it thank you so much for your questions if you have any further questions please drop them in the comments below thank you so much for watching please stay safe and see you guys next time